nice Titan warship. Hmm, quite the impressive Titan. Another sign that Morardain is readying once more for war with Uriah. Look, that route goes right to the ship, just like Pyra said. Yes, yes! We should be able to climb down over here. Let's go. Okay. Off we go! Understood. Pyra, with you by my side. I hope to the Architect three days hasn't passed by now. Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we finished up all the side quests in the Gormot region, including those exclusive to the DLC expansion pass. This time, we're off to find the tree route that leads to the Titan battleship so that we can rescue Nia if she hasn't been hurled into the grinder already. But first, I want to switch around my equipment. We've accumulated a lot of SP. And I wanna get some skills here. That's kinda good damage-wise, actually. Combo enhance would just universally increase our damage. I want this topple duration as well. Those are pretty high priority. I think I'll go for art assigned to X for free at the nice beginning one. of a fight. And we have no hope of affording any of these. I could go for the ether and have eight points left over. Much more worth it to save for the good stuff, though. Tora, I like this. Canceling a driver art into another driver art. Using an art for free at the start of a battle. Let's take the max HP like I said Don't I would. What, Don't know what Poppy did. Enabled him to become a driver. Oh, it's deep thinking, Tora. You're so brilliant. Next on the docket is art enhancements. I've had countless people tell me... You need to put on Double Spinning Edge. Why do you have Sword Bash on? Double Spinning Edge is Rex's best art, and I love it so much. To that I say, nah. This is not as good of an art as a lot of people give it credit for. I will equip it for sake of demonstration, but just know that I'm not really that big of a fan of it. I'm going to get rid of Rolling Smash for right now, because aggro reduction might not be that helpful with Tora just not doing that much damage. I'm going to go for Anchor Shot. That's one of Rex's best arts. I can't do anything with the zombies arts except for switch in wild volley. This adds more damage when canceling out of an auto attack. The damage on this is pretty strong, making it one of Rex's better arts and definitely his best on the ether cannon. I think I'll get rid of armor crush. 50% chance to annul defense is kind of nice, I guess, but I think I want that more if we're just going to do a high damage art. This has blow down and it's an AoE attack. This is higher HP. Rex is going to have a lot of health most of the time. Sounds good. Tora's got nothing, but I'll switch into Rigid Shield temporarily just for sake of showing it. Steady Drill can go away. And Rex, you lucky devil, Nia tossed her bunny choker to you just before she got taken away by the cops. That's lucky because I thought we would open up a few core crystals before going there. I don't want to open up too many, but I thought we could try this and just see what we get. I'll use boosters for the very first time. Well, no. If I'm using five boosters, I should be using a rare core crystal to maximize chances. I won't be using all of our crystals, I just thought we could pop open a few more to possibly increase our options here. You are now my driver. Konami! Like the game developer? You're pretty sorry, Blade, it looks like. Recharge boosts, uh, boost art recharge from an auto attack, so she'd be able to use that fast. I do like Mega Lances. That looked promising. Only the last silhouette actually means anything out of the three. Oh no, it's just a doggo. Last one. Nope, just commons. Oh, his face is neat. I will protect you. This, I swear. Okina, you, you're cool. I'm kind of sad I already have a good ether cannon because that was quite an entrance you made. What? Um, uh, seriously? I was looking through what our common blades are and the very first random blade that I pulled has Orb Master. That's an example of a skill that only common blades are able to have, and it's damn good. It doesn't 
do anything for us yet because that whole uh, adds an element when performing a blade combo. That's not clear what that is. It's for a feature that we don't yet have, but I just thought I would point that out that there are skills exclusive to common blades and they can be very good. If you're ever looking for a specific art, go into this menu. It'll show you what the arts are without having to equip a blade. Uh, it is just simply tied to which driver has which weapon. Here you can see that Rex's Mega Lance does have a break art on it. If we wanted to topple stuff, I could equip that. Same goes for his Katana Kit. Taurus pouch item just ran out, and it just so happens that Poppy needed to use her favorite pouch item from the instruments category to get leaping level two. In instances of this where you need to use it again, you don't need to wait two hours. Just go into the pouch items, Use it again. Research is progressing. Gets skills a lot faster, and it's a heck of a lot better than waiting out all that time. That was worth another skill, apparently. And that was also tied to the Roly Poly Maracas. See what I mean? I wanted the Roly Poly Maracas for this skill so we could have the benefit for a little while and get that. Now what say we sneak in under the cover of night? Nothing else left to do. We're just gonna hop down. This is such a quaint little place. I assume some Nopon live in these little houses. I don't imagine they'd be big enough for humans to live in. It's just kind of a nice place that I'd like to be, just sit up on these cliffs, looking over maybe the training exercises in the base, and no, I have no one know that I'm here. Going into the science of how pouch item spamming works, every single pouch item gives 10 or so points of trust, and if you got a lot of money, you can just buy a ton of a pouch item that no one likes, spam it on a blade over and over again, have no voice clips play from it that you have to skip over. And a blade's base auto attack stat is based on trust, so you can just raise up a blade's uh, auto attack all day long and that affects all of their damage. Ooh, that's not a treasure trove! I thought it was a gold one! <laughs> I'm sorry, three-tailed fox, you are a letdown to me, because you're uh, not filled with gold nor uh, able to be opened without breaking several laws. Yeah, I'm already wanted by the Ardanian military, what's another offense? But distractions aside, the reason why I'm not pouch item spamming is because our biceps are already explosive. I don't need more auto attack or trust, I'll only do it if I need it. Looks pretty high. Give me a moment. Pyra, you first. I'll pull you up, so hold tight. Ugh. So heavy. What? What did you say? Uh. Yow! Now look here, Rex. You can't just go and call a lady heavy. Oh, Rex Rex a little tactless. <sighs> Sorry about that. I guess I was just surprised. No, no, it's not your fault. I... Ooh, she heavier than Tora for sure. <laughs> but that just means Hyra grown to impressive height. It is good thing. Hyra should be proud. <laughs> Poppy pull Pyra up. Please, grab again. Nice, Poppy. Poppy Artificial Blade. This is no problem. Poppy could lift Gonzalez if necessary. My boy. Of course she was gonna be a little bit top heavy. Just look at her. The metallic armor ain't light. Now, you might have heard what Poppy said right there and wondering who the f is Gonzalez? What have we here? It's an enemy type that is a series staple. It's one of those little things that I can see a new player maybe not getting. We're gonna stutter step right away. Get this going. You are weak to fire. Sounds like a perfect opportunity to just cancel right into that. Double spinning edge. 
If I can cancel into that, you see this? Side damage. Those two little suns? I haven't gone into it yet, but those two little suns show whenever there's any kind of bonus effect going off. That way you can get it confirmed if you're doing the attack right. The bonus effects, such as placement, are based on position when doing the attack, not when the attack connects. So one, as long as you do it right once, you have nothing to worry about. As you can see, I was on the side, and then it was turning around when I connected the attack right there. Perfect example of it. I'll take this as well. I like the idea of this cloud tank right here, how it's kind of explaining how the ship works. Similar to how some boats have uh, water tanks in them that they can fill up with water if they need to adjust the weight of the ship for any reason at all. Kind of nice. Let me take a look at those uh, aux cores really quick. Actually, we are indoors right now. That sounds like a prime time. Oh, she already has indoor attack up three. You came prepared, didn't you? Uh, you can take credit for my work any day, Poppy, because you, uh, well, uh, you kind of took credit for everything back there. You showed up Rex like no one else could. <laughs> Enjoy view for a bit. We're not going, uh, or maybe we are going that way. Never mind. I misunderstood the map. Uh, hello, Ardanian soldier. Version 1.2. Version 1.2 was the saddest day in Xenoblade history. Why, you might ask? It was the day that these soldiers were never the same. I will simulate for you what these fights were like before then. Think you can take me! Think you can take me! Don't forget me! Think you can take me! Don't forget me! Don't forget me! Think you can take me! Think you can take me! Why would you change perfection? I know that some people will tell me that it was clearly very annoying and that it should have been changed, and maybe from an objective standpoint, but. I've never met anybody who didn't love these guys the way they were! Little did we know, Don't Forget Me was a cry for help. In memoriam, we will never forget you. The update did bring some welcome changes like being able to skip voice acted lines inside of menus, so it wasn't all bad. But still. Masterpon. Poppy can feel there is a blade in the vicinity. Oh, but how can Poppy tell that? Unclear. Poppy feel other blade like wave in air. Huh. I'm not sure I get it, but maybe Dromark is nearby. Let's try opening up some of these doors. I didn't hurt anyone, did I? Everyone check your eyebrows. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard to judge the power sometimes. Pyra. Rex. Dromark. It's good to see you alive. It very good! See, Master Pond? There was a blade here. Master Titan, and forgive me, but who are they? Dromark. We don't have much time. Do you know where Nia is? But of course. We are in residence, after all. I feel her presence. Then let's go. We can't let her get executed. Indeed. This way. Rescuing Nia is all fine and good, but we have side content Dromark. to go check out. Going back into Dromark's cell, uh, I guess they didn't want him to die broke. An infantry vest is in there. That's another max HP increase by 400. We already have one of those. Mainly wanted the money. How thoughtful of them. Or maybe it's a form of Ardanian torture where they make you ultra wealthy on death row where you can't spend it and know you can't take it with you. <laughs> All these other cell doors are locked. So we can't do anything there. Once again, the trend is go back into areas that took place in cutscenes and uh, explore them again. We're gonna go down this Let's hallway now that we've cleared the way. Hi, guys. Uh, do we need to? Do we really need to? Actually, yes, we do. No. What I'm gonna do. Our X art is free at the beginning of a fight. There's no reason not to switch in the one that you want to use to begin a fight with. 
It's completely free. Just takes a few seconds of your time, and we might as well just open with a nice back attack on him. Look! Whoa! Pyra's auto attack! Claw hammer! Yo! Bro, are you telling me that oh, the battle system is so slow and boring and all this stuff? Man, you don't got a leg to stand on now! I'm here showing you the speed strats! Go away, man! I, don't, I do not care for your face at all! And I couldn't even see it! I'm judging a book by its cover right here! And what are you gonna do about it? You're dead! No, sorry! You're done! <laughs> sorry, had to use the proper Ardanian dialect here. <laughs> Didn't mean to be offensive when killing you. Well, we'll go over this way, head up these- oh, hello. Time to take, <laughs> Time to you, take you down. <laughs> Let's just do a regular one. Yeah, I was able to do a third of his health with just that alone. It feels so wrong to hear him say, take this. And he cuts off just saying, don't forget. It's, it just feels wrong. It's like when- it would be worse- it's worse the way it is now than if they just cut out the line entirely. The way he goes, don't forget, and then it just cuts out. Quiet. It's like when something gets remade and it's 90% the way that it should be, but then the other 10% just isn't the way it should be, and you're constantly getting that knocking at the back of your head like it should be a certain way, but it just isn't. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Let's show him a thing or three. Rex, let's go. Could I kill a level 10? Almost. Not quite. Let's not ask for miracles. Stutter step. Done. Have you considered taking the lead sometime, Ira? I'll think about it next time, Zerda. People might look at you funny though, so watch out. And death by facial. Let's go. Since that's not gonna work for us, we go down here, we open this door, slide it open, and with super strength one and focus one, we open the way. Pyra has focus, Poppy has super strength. By pressing A in the middle of that, I can just skip all of the individual checks and it'll show us whether or not we can do it. Nice and quick like. I gotta wonder why they don't have an attack where they just headbutt you. They have that sharp blade on top of their head for seemingly no reason at all. There I go, you doing the back attack. So you can do an auto attack and cancel into it before they turn around and still get the bonus effect thanks to that technicality for how the attacks work. We'll do an anchor shot and just barely not knock him out. Tori, you get to have all the fun. I've been using Pyra a lot. Maybe I'll switch to a zombie and show off this range. Time to take you down. Shoot him through the wall. High HP. Boom, 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 boom! Nice! If we can get Wild Volley go- Where's Tora? Uh, Poppy, where's Tora? She looks very confused. Where are you? Okay. Boom! A two cancel attack. 536 damage. Good attack. Only had the first auto attack there. Red Thread. Midship Walkway Door trying to find my way around here. There's a lot of different ways that you can go. Can be worth it to look at the map every once in a while if you just need to. Uh, that door is locked. The mess hall. <laughs> Olno's mess hall? More like... Let's show him a thing oh right. no, mess hall! Oh man, that did a lot! Uh, by pressing ZL there, I was able to switch blades on the fly. If you ever just need a specific blade or a specific art at the beginning of a fight, just hit ZL outside of a battle. It's free. No need to go into a pause menu. This would have been such a party, man, if this was the old days. I'm just thinking about how often we would have gotten to hear the lines. And you know what else that's kind of disappointing about these guys? Captain Podrag got his model degraded into being a regular enemy. That's not fair. I switched to Tora here to show Rigid Shield for the very first time. I'll sit here guarding until I either use another art or until the timer on this runs out. I believe it runs for about 12 seconds. As you can see, the aggro was able to move off of me onto Rex, uh, just because I wasn't attacking enough. That's kind of the downside of it is that the AI, if it has it, it frequently will just sit there doing rigid shield until the timer runs out, never canceling out of it. It doesn't think of doing that with defensive arts, and for that reason, I think rigid shield is best when Tora is played as, not when he is controlled by the AI. That's why I don't like Rigid Shield, even though it seems like a nice art. It is a good art. It is actually very optimal of playing as Tora. I'm just not always going to be playing as Tora. And in fact, these battles are going by so fast. Uh, it's not even me, like, overgrinding or anything. I haven't taken any bonus experience points. Uh, the, I just don't really feel the need for it. Uh, I, I can't kill a fellow side sleeper. 
Side sleeping is the optimal way to sleep. It has the least amount of downsides for all the ways that you can sleep. Oh no, there he goes, calling for help. Uh, he's getting them out of bed. Uh, sticky situation is right, Poppy. Oh good, he didn't wake up the side sleeper. I didn't have to kill him. I must protect the future of sleeping healthy. Our kind cannot die out. Well, steal from the sick and get a bronze chip. That could probably go on a zombie because I didn't use one of the amethyst chips and I'm preferring to save that for a better blade. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to say that. Oh, you already have a bronze chip. Well, it was the rightful one that belonged with you then, I guess. Oh no, uh, all right, this is an Ardanian rot. I got it to play on Rottweiler, but what a sad name to give such a good boy. Even if after this fight he is gonna rot. Tora, you could really use an art recharge of some kind. Here we go, AoE, there it goes, nice. I will do level one here. I'll run around and pick these up, rush hour, I've already seen what that does. Got the action command. Good match. I do wish you'd lean on me more, Rex. Or do you think I couldn't take it? It's nothing like that. I'll try to uh, lean on you more. <laughs> that is so me when talking to girls. It's not even funny. No doubt about it. That's the place. Who are you people? They're the terrorist friends. We are her friends, but I won't let you call her a terrorist. Can we talk about Rex for a moment? I hear a lot of people say that they really, really don't like them and they just find him kind of an uninteresting protagonist. I don't agree with that. I agree with not liking his English voice that much, but I think he's got some really great lines on him and some really good snark too that makes him entertaining to watch. If I can give some examples, uh, if I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass is such a good line. <laughs> we just had that everyone check your eyebrows after Pyra burned down the door. And then probably my favorite one so far was the 60,000 gold. Do you want a kidney as well? <laughs> the delivery of all those are great and he has such a good snark to him. I get that he is, you know, kind of the general heroic type, but I like his snark. That's what makes him who he is to me. And there was that with a zombie. I, I can't help but just disagree with that because I think he's very memorable and has so many good lines. Jin? You all right, Mia? Rex, you... My lady, apologies for my late arrival. Don't mention it. I didn't think anyone was coming at all. As if we'd leave you. Always help those who help you. That's the second rule of the Salvages Code. Well, that's you all over, ain't it? Rex, Rex! Tora has found escape route! Hurry, hurry! A Nopon? He has been of some assistance. We made a new friend. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, I think we've overstayed our welcome here. Time to get moving. Looks like you got Nia back safe and sound. Now you got three members in your party. I should explain the roles and about roles and classes. Blades are born with a role. Attackers, a tuk. Healers, plur. And tanks, tunk. For example, Pyra is an attacker, Dromark is a healer. The types of blades that a driver engages will determine their fighting style. Each driver's fighting style will fall into certain categories called classes. Some classes emphasize attack, some defense, some strike a balance between roles. Each class has its own special effects. It's up to you whether you want to engage your favorite blades or strategically select blades to achieve a certain class. Do whatever is best for your playstyle. Generally, blades can't change roles. As an artificial blade, Poppy is the exception. She can change her role using Poppy Swap feature. 
Try your hand at Tiger Tiger to try to get a hold of roll CPUs that you'll need to change Poppy's roll in Poppy Swap. Now that you got all that, let's get back to the game and make our escape. Tora, I hate to tell you after looking so hard for that escape route, but we don't need it. There is nothing stopping you from going back out the way you came in or from just simply skip traveling away. Don't worry, soldiers. I'll be back to escape from your ship in a minute. With Nia and Dromark back in the party, Nia still has her Narsapur jelly from earlier. That's all fine and good. I've been wanting one of these. Nia likes fish. Because of course she does. She also likes milk. Unfortunately, that's not an item type, so we have to settle for buying her textiles. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. Because it's a scratching post. Dromark is leaping for joy because he likes some board games. Eh, I think he'd play Nop on chess. This is exactly what I wanted. Aggressive about his taste in games. Aren't we all? Back to Toragoth. Estral steak. Ooh, tasty sausage. This is delicious. Dromark likes meat. At the music store in Toragoth, Cedarwood Koto. The sound of the Cedarwood Koto is so delightful. But, oh boy, have I been waiting to show this. Favorite items aren't always that important. Definitely not. But this one could not be a bigger deal. Yeah, that's worth 1,200 gold. Easy. I'd buy 10 of those happily. We've already seen how great Creamy Orange Paratha is. Cheap item, 0.3 on the arts recharge per second. And... Mmm, Cream Orange Paratha is the best. Nia's favorite item. You girl have exquisite taste. As if I didn't need enough reason to love you already. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I think quite positively of these... Of the starting cast here, actually. I've met... I guess Pyra is the one that I've talked about the least, but I do find her pretty likable immediately, and I think her intro scene is fantastic. I guess she hasn't really done a whole lot in particular as of this point. Next, we're gonna go to Portside Walkway in the Ardanian battleship. So, shall we? Over by where Dromark was being held prisoner, we found that access key in Nia's cell. Oh god, maybe they were sadistic and torturing her for days, just going like, hey, this is the key to Dromark's cell, but you won't be able to get to it. Champion's belt. Little did they know, to become a master wrestler, all you had to do was get thrown in jail. I'm gonna equip the champion belt, as that's better than the, uh, what was it? The other belt? Muscle belt. Yeah, this is a more powerful version of that same item. That belongs on Rex. Gosh, who knew being in jail was so great? They give you so much free money and accessories that make you more powerful, more capable of fighting. Uh, they really take care of their prisoners here. Uh, well, we'll get out of that brig and into the next one. And, or, what are you doing in jail? Oh, no, 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 that's a unique monster. Uh, no, 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 no. I'd rather be prepared for this. Okay, while we're preparing for that, let's go over those roles that it was telling us about. Rex is currently an elite fighter, whereas Nia is a healer. This is influenced by the fact that Rex has two attack type blades with him, so he just gets a larger buff to his attack. If we look at his, uh, if we go to engage blades, he has two buffs indicated by the double arrow boosting his damage dealt. These buffs aren't really that necessary. It's pretty much only a mechanic just to incentivize you to kind of give a character only one or two uses at a time so that they're not spread too thin. But again, they're not really that great. Tora right here being a defender, he... Takes less damage, he gets more auto attack aggro and more art and special aggro. Nia gets uh, HP potion effect up and lower aggro from her arts, which is great because uh, healing arts are pretty much a passive source of aggro on their own and they generate a lot. Probably the only dangerous thing about this mechanic that I'd look out for is giving someone outfitted for tanking a healer blade. Healer classes reduce aggro, so those two things are kind of at odds with each other. I was thinking about playing as Nia for this as we haven't seen her in a while, but I couldn't resist dragging Watch Pirate into this mess. All it also right, hit me that this guy, Remorseful, and the fact that he's in prison, that probably means that this guy was some kind of betrayer or defected to an enemy si Oh no! Oh, that's bad! That's really bad! I was trying to get the back attack and I missed and missed the timing too! That was mainly why I did it! 
You give the uniform worn by the great Podrag a bad name. I hope you know that. I'm going to wait for Tori to do his level one special right here. Yep, here we go. It's actually kind of nice that I'm getting to do double spinning edge right here just after I was saying it wasn't that great. Here we go. And then as that stone's going, yes, level two, Volcano. Volcano in the blade combo is the best damage over time effect in the entire game. By doing that, he's just gonna have those orange numbers coming out of it repeatedly. Gonna make our lives a lot easier. Double spinning edge. I'm actually finding a decent amount of uses for this thing. And I can't see a thing, but I'm hoping that's your back. No, it's not. Gonna switch to a zombie. Upon switching to a blade, they will have all their arts on by default since Rex had high health, that was good. Second hit, and then third hit. A little hard to see, but I promise you that was correct. The blade combo just ran out. Uh, do I wanna do, yeah, let's go for this. Tora's got his level three special on right now. So we'll get to see that for the first time. And then we're gonna cancel that into, oh boy, burning sword. Setting up a volcano with Burning Sword. There's no kill quite like Overkill. I missed the timing on the second hit, but that's okay. Unlike what the tutorial said, it does not in fact multiply the damage. It's a pretty inconsequential damage increase per input. Wow! That was cool! That was awesome! And I just realized Dromark never actually got updated equipment. Arguably, he needed it the most. Dromark would get reduced aggro drawn by auto attacks. If that was arts, I might go for it, but I think I'm just gonna give him a pretty standard core chip instead. His damage just isn't that impressive. Speaking of Dromark needing an update, I'll pay for this. I meant to give him three tasty sausages that I just purchased. Because on his chart, level two. My power ever grows. That's tied to using the meat category on him four times. His other skills are based on salvaging. I don't see the need to go and do that right now. And this does not have an apparent effect. Similarly, Azami isn't able to unlock her level three trust. This is the other reason why I think pouch item spamming isn't particularly helpful. A lot of higher level skills are locked behind discovering areas on other Titans or killing enemies in later areas. Whenever one of these pops up and you haven't been there yet, it'll just show three question marks. And in the time that I showed all that, did you notice that this didn't go down at all? If a timer benefits you, it doesn't go down while the game is paused. Because it's such a nice game, it didn't want to screw you over. Back in Neocell, all is right with the continuity once again. We've done a lot, storming into this base, rescuing Nia, and seeing quite a few new things about her. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we make our daring escape. They won't know the difference. See you guys then.